Unlucky reading, traveling through an era of male superiority and female inferiority, feeling bitter and forced. How can we change the current situation? Rural women are not strong, and families cannot tolerate it keywords of the novel. Farmer women are not strong, heaven must not have pop-ups, farmer women are not strong, heaven must not have pop-ups, complete collection download, farmer women are not strong, heaven must not have latest chapters for reading. Chapter 1. Wild Eggs. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Wild Eggs Lee bent her bulky body to mow the grass and saw a nest of wild eggs and not far away. She was pleasantly surprised and walked cautiously on the slope. The reason for her inconvenience was that she was nine months pregnant and was about to give birth. When she was giving birth, she couldn't do without firewood to cook at home. This is what her mother dot in dot law ordered, but she still remembers going to her aunt in the same village in the morning to help take care of the child because she gave birth to a son. How could you be so delicate, this thing that specializes in producing losers? We don't have firewood at home, so we have to cut it twice a day. Lee could only obediently go to the mountains to cut grass when she was about to give birth. She found wild mountain eggs in the grass while cutting grass. When she saw wild eggs, she thought of the four skinny children at home. She reached out to pick up wild eggs and passed by a wasp nest, buzzing and buzzing ah. Lee's conditioned reflex was to use the straw hat on her head to fan the yellow peak. Her movements were slow, not as fast as those of the little insects, and both her face and hands were pricked. The needle still carefully placed the wild eggs in the cloth bag, and even removed the buzzing wasp nest surrounding her, slowly walking out of the hillside. I feel a burning pain on my face and hands, as well as a wasp chasing stinging needles. Lee was lying in the wild grass, resting here as the wasp gradually flew away. She felt her face hurt and hot, and her hands were swollen and uncontrollable. She looked up at the sky with only one slit swollen, and saw the sun rising in mid-air. She tied up two large bundles of grass and picked up 70.80 pounds of firewood with a stick. Walking slowly down the mountain with one foot high and one foot low, walking a mile back to the village, I met a mother dot in dot law who came out of the vegetable field. The old lady's eyes were dazed and she saw Li sure. From the Hongji family, you need to be careful with your big belly. Hongji is really good at it. He has broken wood when working as a carpenter. Why do you have to go up the mountain with such a big belly to cut grass? What if you fall? Lee heard the villagers sympathize and speak such language every day, and her thoughts were the same as those of these people. However, she became accustomed to cowardice and gave birth to a few female dolls. Her husband's family has been passed down for two generations, and in her generation, if she cannot give birth to a male child, Sanpa, I'm fine. Oh, what's wrong with your face? And your hands? The third lady only found out as she approached. Lee's face was swollen like a pig's head, and her exposed hands were swollen and enlarged. Sanpa, I'm fine. I was just stung by a wasp. Acers, you have to be careful. They are all toxic. I don't know if it will affect the children. This. Lee was frightened after hearing San Po's words. Did you remove that wasp embryo? Picking this one can detoxify it. Yes, I'll go home and cook now. Lee's wooden hairpin twisted and some messy hair fell off. Sweat dripped down from his bloated face, and he still walked with one foot high and one foot low. Pig head. Let's hit the pig's head. The bear children playing on the roadside picked up stones and went to hit Li Shur. These stones were not very big, and Li Shur protected his stomach without scolding the bear children. Mom, don't hit my mom. Eight-year-old Diya carried a bamboo basket, carrying a one-year-old girl on her back, holding a three-year-old girl in her hand, followed by a five-year-old girl carrying a small bamboo basket. They went to cut pigsty. Diya, don't come over the stones will hurt a lot. Li Shur was protective of her daughter, and all four female dolls were there. You are all bad guys. 
don't hit my mother. The ya cried and scolded those people, and also helped her avoid throwing stones at these bare kids. Ah! I used to be the mother of a loser, but today I've turned into a pig's head, uh. A person with a runny nose, many patches on the clothes, short sleeves, and short pants, obviously not fitting well. The other bear kids also laughed heartily. Dog egg, you're naughty again. A strong man came back from the mountain carrying firewood and scolded the children. This group of bear kids scared away. The yuk cried and said to Li Shur, Mom, do you feel any pain? Woo woo, mother. The doll on Daya's back, along with the other two sisters, also cried along. Mom, it's okay. Let's go home first. Lee's stomach felt as if it was sagging after a moment of turmoil just now. Crying, crying, useless thing, why don't you go home and cook quickly? Grandma Lai helped her eldest daughter take care of the doll, and her daughter came back from busy work in the field and asked her to go home to eat. In the distance, she heard the crying of their mother and daughter five people, which made her restless. Lai sure, your wife's belly is so big that you don't take firewood. Hongji's wife, what's wrong with your face? It's swollen like this. Come on, I'll help you. Grandma Lee from the neighbor's house is holding a basket of vegetables in her hand, and there are only a few neighbors nearby who sympathize with the Lee family. Pooh, Yuli, isn't it right for your wife to do things? What's your concern? Who wants you to be a good person? Lai Shur's triangular eyes widened, stomped his feet on the ground, spat a mouthful of saliva, and found the cloth bag hanging in Li Shur's hand. His eyes turned and snatched the bag, quickly heading home. Grandma. Li was so anxious that she was about to shed tears. Her mother. In. Law took this bag and risked her life to pick up wild eggs, wasp fetuses, hongjis, don't worry. Go home first. Grandma Li took Li's shoulder and carried her vegetable basket in her hand, not knowing why Li valued cloth bags so much. Li didn't care about her sagging belly and took a few quick steps to catch up with Lai. Mom, walk slowly. Lai sure has entered a courtyard gate with only three rooms, a mud-tiled kitchen, and on the other side of the yard is a thatched hut, where a father and son are making furniture. She pushed the door in, and the father and son who were making furniture looked up before continuing to make furniture. Two girls walked out of a room in the house, aged thirteen and fifteen respectively. These were the two daughters of Lysher. The fifteen-year-old daughter had already been engaged and was about to get married, while the other stayed at home. Mom, what good thing did you bring back? We're hungry. Lai Shur was held by her two daughters on one arm and the other, helplessly opening the bag in her hand. Wow, wild eggs. There are also wasp fetuses inside, mother, I want to stir fry and eat. When the two sisters said this, they both felt the water flowing from their mouths. They took the cloth bag and followed Lies back to the inner room. Lee happened to see two little ants when she entered the door, and her mother dot in dot law lie put away the cloth bag. Lee's tears rolled in her eyes with only one slit, her legs stuck in place. Mother. De Yip brought her sister in, placed the pig and vegetable basket on the ground, and helped her mother make way. The father and son who were making furniture looked up and continued making furniture. Grandma Lee picked in the firewood and saw the indifferent father and son. She gently placed the firewood in the yard and looked at the father and son with a reproachful expression, saying, Uncle, Hongji. Upon hearing the voice of the aunt next door, the father and son raised their heads again, and the father stopped his wooden work. Sister-in-law, my daughter dot in dot law is really good. How can I ask you to help me choose? Hongji noticed his wife's swollen face and quickly walked over to say, Son of a bitch, What's wrong with you? New article seeking support, leaving traces, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Born You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Bornly stood wooden with her face covered. Dad, it must have been my mother who got a wasp needle while cutting grass. 
Daya felt sorry for her mother. Hongji's father glared at his daughter. In law with a serious expression, then scolded Daya, What's the proper way for a girl to make noise in a movie? Hongji, help your daughter. In law in and sit down quickly. Look at her appearance, she's about to give birth. Grandma Lee originally wanted to persuade the father and son, but the experienced woman first realized that there was something wrong with the Lee family. Lee felt a faint pain in her sagging belly, as if something was about to flow out from under her coarse cloth skirt. She let out a low moan. Ah! Lai Shi just put away the bag and looked at the yard through the crack in the window at home. What would happen if he saw Li Shi find a reason not to cook? The obese body stood at the door of the room, glaring at Granny Li and cursing loudly, Li, why don't you cook quickly? Don't you want me, Granny, to take care of you? This is something that specializes in making money losers. Lai Shi, your daughter dot in dot law is about to give birth. How could you sit and have your daughter dot in dot law cook for you? Granny Li scolded angrily, which daughter dot in dot law is not born to your mother. It's none of your business. If you want to take care of it, you can help me cook at my house. Lai Shi looked indifferent. Her two daughters were secretly looking out of the room. The family was used to treating their sister dot in dot law like this, but they never thought about helping her. They recognized their mother's approach, which allowed them to avoid doing household chores. Wu Wu, Big Y, untied his sister from her back and went to help her mother. Grandma Li gasped for breath in anger, then suppressed her anger and said to Mu Mu's Hongji, What are you still standing here for? Your wife is about to give birth, hurry up and find the midwife. Mm, -mm Acer said to his wife, hoping that she would have a son. He ran out of the gate and turned back. Mom, give me some money. Hongji and his father worked as carpenters, and all the money they received was saved by their mother. The money did not pass through the hands of the couple. He is a filial son who listens to his mother and father, and only has a few copper coins on his body. How can he afford to hire a midwife? A loser, spending money on childbirth time and time again, doesn't need to hire a midwife this time, let her give birth at home by herself. Lai Shi said so maliciously. Grandma Li can only sigh. She has a heart to help others, but she has no ability to do so. I can only pick up her vegetable basket and go back to my own home. Humph, mind your own business. I thought she had such a kind heart. The winner of the Lai family's face glared at Li again and said, Why don't you hurry up and cook? Mother, my daughter Dot and Dot Law has already crouched down in pain, begging you to pay for the midwife. Hongji knelt down in front of his mother. What are you asking for? A loser, your father and your carpentry money are all spent on her loser. Grandma. Li knew that giving birth was a matter of passing the gates of hell and wanted to plead, but she was so painful that she couldn't speak. Grandma, please, quickly get my mother a midwife. Daya knelt down and the eight-year-old girl was born through one sister after another. These sisters can be said to have been raised by her. Is it up to you to be reckless? A loser. Lai pointed her finger at Daya, and her fat foot kicked her, causing the thin and weak Daya to fall to the ground. Woo woo, don't hit my sister. Daya's three little sisters cried around her. Crying and crying, the morning star. Lai Shi raised her hand to beat up the four girls. Hongji saw his mother beating his child and timidly accepted it. He also saw his wife lying on the ground in pain, and a princess carried her back to his room. Hongji, don't do anything foolish. Women have children, and it's not good to go in and see blood. Hongji's father called out from behind and saw his son ignoring him, stomping his feet on the ground. Hongji, listen to your father. Lai Shi also shouted at the door. Hongji carried his wife into the room and followed his parents' instructions. He walked out of the room and saw that it was already noon. Other families were already smoking and drinking, and they still wanted to rely on the Li family to cook. Acer doesn't know anything about delivering babies, only knows how to boil hot water. Dia, 
you go into the room to take care of your mother. Daya, who was hurt by her grandmother's kick just now, wiped her tears and went into her parents' room, which was also the room where the four sisters lived together. The other three children followed in and surrounded Li Shi, who was lying on the bed. Mom, how are you doing? Li's stomach was very hungry and thirsty, and she couldn't expect to eat. Mother, only cold water. The Ye poured a glass of cold boiled water from the kettle and fed it to her mother. Hongji only had to boil a pot of hot water, but his parents didn't allow him to enter the room. However, he could only call the Ye at the door to bring in the hot water, leave the other three girls by his side, and wait at the door. Lee felt more and more pain. During the process of giving birth, her stomach was too hungry. Today, she gave birth early and used all her strength to endure the pain. She cut the umbilical cord herself. Daya obediently wiped the blood off the newborn doll's body and wrapped it up with a piece of rag, facing the painful appearance of her mother giving birth. Daya, is your mother giving birth to a younger brother? Hongji was shouting at the door, his father and mother were also standing at the door, and the two younger sisters in the adjacent room were also paying attention. This family hasn't cooked lunch yet, and it's already past noon. Dad, it's my sister, what? It's a sister. Did you give birth to a loser again? Oh my, if you take her off and marry another wife, our family can't live without a queen. Lai sure was crying. Mom, I. While his parents were talking, Hongji crouched on the ground with his head in pain. Over the years, his wife had been giving birth to a daughter, and he was subjected to more gossip, unable to lift his head under great pressure. My son listens to me and drives out this loser, as well as a few other losers. Lai Shi not only wanted to wait for Ho's daughter in law to give birth, but also wanted to drive out the mother and daughter who had just given birth. Li had just finished giving birth and looked weak. When she was cutting the umbilical cord just now, she had already seen the gender of the doll clearly, feeling disappointed and regretful. This was under the treatment of this family, knowing that they would scold her a few times, but she did not expect to be so eager to drive them out. Just finished giving birth and was excited, causing massive bleeding and continuous bleeding. Daya held the newborn baby in fear, thinking that their sisters would be better if their mother gave birth to a younger brother. Once again, she welcomed the elders to treat her mother like this, and her young heart was trembling. Until she smelled a stronger smell of blood and saw her mother faint, she placed the doll next to her and shook her mother, saying, Mom, what's wrong with you? Wake up quickly. The frightened Daya shook her mother and found that she was constantly bleeding. She panicked and pushed open the door and ran out. Dad, it's not good anymore. Mom has shed a lot of blood. Upon hearing his daughter's words, Hongji lifted his head in both hands and felt anxious when he saw the dried blood on her hands. He knelt down and asked for help from Lysher, saying, Mom, give me money to go and hire a doctor. Having a child is already bleeding, which woman didn't go through it like this. What doctor did you hire? Humph, the money at home is for your sister's dowry. Lai rolled her eyes, her stomach growled, and she glared at Li's room. My body is taking a break again, so I will try my best to improve. If it doesn't work, I can only write one thousand words. Thank you for your support. There may be some typos in every chapter. Welcome everyone to catch bugs. The new year is coming, thank you for your support. I wish everyone a happy and healthy tiger year. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Saving Mother. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 Saving Mother The two girls from Jinhua who were eavesdropping in the room inside said to Lai Shi at this moment, Mom, you're right. You can't hire a doctor without money to do my dowry. Yes, Mother, I'm hungry. We want to eat fragrant. Wild eggs, said the third girl. Lai twisted her obese body and glared angrily at Li's room, saying, If you give birth to a loser, I have to cook for myself. Daya ran out of the courtyard in a panic when she saw her father not hiring a doctor. 
She wanted to ask her neighbors for help, and the first thing she thought of was Grandma Lee who had just helped them. Lee fell asleep in the room, and her pale face, which had just given birth, gradually turned pale and purple. Her pulse was getting weaker and weaker. Her face and hands, which had been pricked by a wasp, were slowly swelling down. The smell of blood in the room grew stronger and stronger. A rag-wrapped doll was beside her, waving her hands and feet, as if feeling the danger of her mother. A newborn baby who has never cried, staring at a pair of round and big eyes, wanting to speak, but making a, ah, ah, sound in her mouth. Tang Shichi felt unlucky. The moment before, she was still enjoying the pleasure of driving a luxury car when she accidentally bumped into the railing. The next moment she woke up and became a doll. Her little head was thinking and thinking, and she always felt that the scene was very familiar. That's when she remembered that she, who never reads novels, was influenced by her best friend and said that online literature is very beautiful. I clicked on a novel reading app and accidentally clicked on an article about farming. The second and third chapters of the text depict a scene where her mother died while bleeding heavily, and her father married a stepmother stepmother, this word is very offensive to her. Her wealthy father married a stepmother after her mother's death, and every day he spoke coldly to her. The most uncomfortable thing was that he brought an older sister with him. They were constantly at odds, and his father stood by his stepmother's daughter. No, we have to find a way to save our mother. She can't walk and can't speak. This family is so poor, it's letting our mother die. She suddenly remembered that she had space. In her past life, she was born into a wealthy family, and her spiritual spring space was used as a swimming pool. When she had free time, she went swimming and did not rely on this space to get rich. Thinking of Ling Kwan, Tang Shichi struggled and waved her little hand, feeling it touching her mother's face. She realized that Ling Kwan was dripping from one of her fingers into her mother's mouth. My body was too small, and I felt like it took me nine cows to give my mother a cup of Ling Kwan to drink. Tang Shichi did not see that after feeding Ling Kwan, Li's face gradually turned from pale blue-purple to rosy, and her face and hands had completely reduced swelling. She was no longer a pig's head or hand. Diya anxiously pushed open the door of the neighbor's yard and saw that they were eating together. She was so hungry that she couldn't help but swallow the food on the neighbor's table. There was a plate of sweet potatoes, a plate of vegetables and a plate of salted fish on the table of Grandma Li's family, and their family members held a bowl of millet porridge in their hands. When Diya arrived, Grandma Li's family did not generously ask her to eat, and their family conditions were also not good. Daya restrained her feeling of hunger, wiped away her tears, and said to Granny Lee, Granny Lee, my mother is bleeding a lot. This has given birth to a daughter again. Mrs. Lee's family murmured softly. Mom, don't get involved in their family's affairs. Lee's wife has never liked Lee's cowardly personality, sympathized with her, but also disliked Lie. The bleeding is life.threatening, let's go see it as neighbors. This is a human life. Grandma Lee had been feeling uneasy just now, feeling that she didn't do her best to save that poor woman. Grandma Lee agreed to visit, and her husband asked her to bring a few eggs from home to help Lee repair her health. Thank you, Uncle and Aunt Tang. You don't need to send the eggs over, and even if you send them over, my mother won't be able to eat them. In Daya's little heart, she hoped that her mother could eat eggs to nourish her body. Her mother had given birth to her younger sister, relatives and friends, and even her grandmother brought eggs and chickens, but she couldn't eat them all. She knew who had eaten them all. Okay. What's important is to go see a doctor. Grandma Lee went back to the room and carried the money at the bottom of the box with her. With the anxious expression on her face, she quickly walked towards the next door. You can smell a strong smell of blood from the open courtyard entrance. Hongji stood at the door of the room, his father was still working as a carpenter, and there was smoking in the kitchen. Two girls could see from their room window. Hongji, your wife is suffering from severe bleeding and you need to hire a doctor. Grandma Li, 
I. I don't have money, Hongji lowered his head and clenched his fists. Brother and sister, don't worry about our family's affairs. Hongji's father looked at the bloody room with disgust, and Li's arrival made him feel annoyed. Confused, you. That's a human life, are you not afraid of lawsuits? Lai Shi was cooking in the kitchen when she heard Grandma Li's words. Her chubby body ran out of the kitchen door and pointed her fingers at her, saying maliciously. Hello Li, there are still not many people who have given birth or died. Besides, this person who specializes in giving birth to money losers will die if she dies, so that she won't occupy the pit. I still hope my son can give birth to a son to pass on the family line. Being a good person is just talking nonsense, why don't you hire a doctor? You. At least even if you're a mother. In law, you need to go in and take a look. How can you let the child take care of the mother? Humph, she's a loser and she needs me to take care of her, dreaming. Daya didn't mind their arguments and was worried that her mother would run into the room first. After all, Daya was just an eight-year-old girl who didn't see her mother's face improve clearly. When she saw her mother sleeping soundlessly, she thought she was dead and cried, shaking her mother and saying, Mom, wake up. Lee was lying next to her with a little doll. Just now, drinking Linquan to her mother made her feel a bit tired. The little doll had just fallen asleep and was awakened by a big girl. She wanted to tell her sister that her mother was not dead, and the voice she said in her mouth was, Ah, 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 Grandma Lee, who was persuading their family outside, heard the Yuz crying and quickly walked into the room with a bloody smell. Lee, you're inside. If you die, you'll be sued, Lai shouted fiercely at the kitchen door. Upon hearing Lai's words, Grandma Lee paused as she entered the door. Roar, are you scared? You also care about our family affairs, so broad. Lai's voice was even more proud. Grandma Li walked in firmly, picked up the crying girl lying on her stomach, and observed the Li family. The ragged sheets on the bed were all covered in blood, and Li's face was not purple or pale, but rather a normal person's rosy complexion. Grandma Li thought she was shining again, so she reached out to her nose and sniffed. She took out an old handkerchief to wipe off the sweat on Li's face and said to the crying girl, your mother is fine, she is asleep. Really? My mother didn't die. Daya smiled in surprise with tears in her eyes. She looked at her mother's face, which had already become swollen and her previous blue and purple complexion had turned rosy, better than before. Little Heart didn't think much, only knowing that her mother smiled happily without any worries. Well, Lee's fate shouldn't be cut off. Grandma, help your mother take care of her body. Grandma Lee felt very strange in her heart. The pig's head face, which had been injected with wasps before, quickly reduced swelling and turned rosy, unlike the many blood blue and white faces she had just given birth to. She regarded this achievement as Lee's great fortune and took a small handkerchief from a basin of warm water to treat the stains on Lee's body and pick up all the dirty and tattered cloth, and replace Lee with clean clothes and old bed sheets. Dia picked up her younger sister, and the little doll's eyes remained silent as she watched Grandma Lee's work. Her young heart was lamenting that there were also good people in this world. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Misconduct You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Misconduct Grandma Lee placed the mother in place, and her wrinkled old hand gently touched the black hair on the head of the doll wrapped in rags. The baby smiled at her with cute eyes open. He said, Little child, you are the one who brings blessings. I hope you can bring your younger brother. Then he instructed Dia to take care of her mother and sister, and as she walked out of the room, she remained silent and wanted to go outside. She was too disappointed with these people in her heart. Aunt Lee, my mother. Grandma Lee stopped and looked at Hongji with determination. This man still had some conscience. Lee sure, don't leave. The people inside have died, it was you who caused it. Lai chased out of the kitchen and stopped Lee in front. Uncle. Granny Lee scolded in her eyes, 
looking at Hongji's father who still had the intention to work as a carpenter in the thatched hut. With such a big incident happening at home, he still had the intention to work. Sister-in-law, you shouldn't be meddling in my family's affairs. If you do, you must take responsibility. Hong Ji's father, who was working, paused for a moment and said this without looking up. The old man is right, don't think of this door. Lai Shi had a gloomy face and stared at him with triangular eyes, his small nose humming upwards, and his cold and thin lips pursed fiercely. Lai Shi, you're not letting me go. Are you asking me to eat red eggs? Even if I give birth to a daughter, I'll have red eggs to eat. Or are you hoping that your daughter dot in dot law will die? Why don't you go in and take a look? Being alone makes you say you're dead. Grandma Lee looked at the family with disdain, as a neighbor, she had long been tired of their mistreatment of the Lee family. The villagers have been gossiping for a long time, but Lee's fate is not good. She always gives birth to girls and cannot stand up on her own, and others cannot even help if they want to. My mother didn't die. Hongji ran into the room with joy, ignoring the blood inside. Madam. Lee was sleeping quietly there, while Dia was holding a doll with round eyes staring at her first meeting cheap dad. He was a tall and handsome man wearing a sleeveless sweater, knee-wide pants, a pair of old cloth shoes, and long hair tied with a cloth towel on his head. Mother fell asleep upon hearing Dia's voice, Hongji touched her head and let out a soft sigh, saying, Thank you, daughter. Take good care of your mother. Dad, I'm hungry. The three girls who followed an outside, along with Dia, looked at their father with bewildered eyes and full of hope. Dad, I'm going to find food for you. Acer felt guilty for his wife and daughter for the first time and went out to grab a wild egg and a bowl of millet porridge in Lai's food care. The cute dolls in the room, seeing millet porridge and eggs, divided the millet porridge a little, and cleverly left the eggs to Li Shi. Hongji fed a little rice soup to the newborn doll. In Li's nightmare, she woke up with sweat all over her face, thinking she was dead. When she opened her eyes, she saw four daughters and a newborn baby in her arms. Mom, are you awake? Are you hungry? Dad and we left you wild eggs. De Yit swallowed hard as she spoke, while the other three smaller dolls stared at the wild egg. Lee was stunned for a moment. When did her husband protect her so much? I'll share the eggs with you, and my mother will eat millet porridge. No, this is the egg that my mother wants to nourish her body. We can't eat it, said Dia. Her three younger sisters nodded obediently, but their eyes stared at the egg and swallowed saliva. Lee insisted on giving each doll some wild eggs before eating the remaining ones. In the evening, Lai Shi returned from her eldest daughter and saw that there was no movement in the kitchen. Angry, she glared at Li Shi's room and jumped and cursed. Okay, you Li, you want to enjoy your fortune even after giving birth to a loser. If you want my mother to cook for you, I'm sorry. Lai's cursed voice, her two daughters looked out through the window gap, silently choosing to watch the play. After Li Shi ate millet porridge, she lay on the bed with her baby. Daya was sent by Lai Shi to drench vegetables, turn over the land, pull weeds from their two mu of rice fields, and then carry water to the rice bag in the open wasteland to drench. Li was scolded by Lai outside and anxiously placed the doll she was holding onto the bed. She had just given birth and wrapped her head in a cloth towel, enduring the pain and getting out of bed. Mother, the child mother has just given birth, please make another meal. Hongji stopped his carpenter's hand and forced himself to beg his mother. At this moment, the man hated himself for not being able to cook. What? I didn't have a chance to take care of her, so I had to go and serve her. It's really beautiful. Lai Shi glared at his son with resentment. Today, his son is too disobedient and always helps Li Shi speak. Grandma, don't scold my mother, I'll cook. Do you went to work in the field all afternoon, worried about the mother at home. She came back tired and dirty, and just as she entered the courtyard door, she heard grandma's scolding. Humph, why don't you wash your hands and cook quickly? 
Lai's shirt glared at her patched, ill-fitting coarse fabric shirt and short, dirty pants that reached her knees, with a look of disgust towards her dirtiness. The doll wrapped in rags began to have milk to eat, slept, slept, and soon woke up the next day to find that mom was not by her side, with three little sisters accompanying her, and big sister was not here. Ah! Does my younger sister want to defecate and pee? Can my older sister help you? Five-year-old Arya shouldered the responsibility of taking care of her younger sister, and her mother was forced by her grandmother to go up the mountain to collect firewood. The older sister went to pick up pigsty. Tang Shichi sighed in her heart that such a small doll bears a heavy responsibility and obediently solves the problem of physical hygiene with the help of Arya. My stomach is so hungry, why hasn't my mother come back yet? Second sister, fifth sister is so well behaved, Wu Mei is so well behaved, Arya listened to the other two sisters praising Wu Mei, showing a naive and innocent smile. She touched the heads of the two sisters with her little hand and said, Wu Mei is good, you should be good too. Mmm hmm, ha ha ha, Arya and her two younger sisters laughed, and the child's laughter made Hongji, who was working as a carpenter in the yard, frown irritably. However, Hongji smiled slightly at the corners of his mouth amidst the laughter of his daughters, and his daughter was also his bone marrow. What's the noise? Be quiet, the three girls in the room heard the fierce voices of two ants in the next room. They shrank their necks in fear, and the room quieted down. Tang Shichi woke up and saw that it was daytime. The baby didn't know the hour and ate, slept, and ate regardless of day or night. Today, when her mother was at home, she saw her wake up and gave her urine and milk. Look at this child who is quite obedient. He has given birth to the wrong appearance. It's a pity that his daughter must take good care of him. These sensible granddaughters will bring you blessings in the future. Tang Shichi paused while breastfeeding and heard a strange voice. From her words, she learned that this was her grandmother. Mother, I know, but I can't hold on to having a daughter all the time, Li Shi said, wiping her tears as she spoke in front of her mother. Even if you can't hold on, you have to hold on. Who makes us women? Don't cry all the time when you just gave birth. People should always look forward, and life will be better in the future. Li swallowed bitter water and wiped away her tears in her mother's comforting words, and she understood the truth. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Growing Up You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Growing Up, Come, Give Me a Hug Li obediently gave her daughter to her mother's embrace. Look at this pretty appearance, you are fortunate. Grandma nodded at Tang Shichi's small face, with a kind expression on her face. Tang Shichi's big and cute eyes rolled around, staring at her grandmother's face. The grandmother's old face was tanned black, with black spots on her face, which was somewhat similar to her mother and had a different expression from Grandma Lai. Is it possible that Grandma and Grandma have different patterns? At this point, she still didn't know the surname of this body. When reading this book, she saw such a cowardly Lee, and after reading two or three chapters, she didn't read it. She felt like she was dead, right? Cheap stepmother, suffering her five daughters, but didn't expect to be among them, feeling different. Lee's obedience to adversity may be due to the patriarchal society, and it is also because she gave birth to a daughter. She is ashamed of her husband's family's thinking and treats her mother dot in dot law like this without any resistance. What is even more difficult to accept is that her father is a filial son. Mother-in-law, let's have dinner. Lai sure, for the first time today, didn't go to her eldest daughter's place to take care of the child, and went to the kitchen to save face and cook. Tang Shichi and Li Shi were unable to go out to eat. Today, they were able to see eggs in their mother's bowl. The happiest day for Daya and her three sisters was when grandma came. They could eat at the table instead of rice porridge. Their second and third aunts were competing to eat at the dinner table, without any gentleness from the big girl. My dear family, we didn't grow much land before and we have to support so many people. Fortunately, 
Hongji and his father are both carpenters, so we can add some household chores. Lai Shi is clearly complaining, but in fact, he is showing off. Everyone from all over the country knows that there are two carpenters in their family who are skilled, and even wealthy people are asked to make furniture. Well, when our two families got married, we also wanted to make your family thicker, but... Although women give birth to daughters, it's not something they can control. Please take care of it and let her take care of her health until the next child can have a caretaker. Lee's mother, Chi, knew very well that this in-law's family was difficult to deal with, and she knew how they treated their daughter. She couldn't blame her too much, fearing that she would make things difficult for her daughter again after she left. After this day, Lee couldn't even go to confinement. Insects grew in the rice fields and he had to go catch them. The weather was even hotter in August and September, when the rice was blooming. After finishing his work, he had to go home and cook every day. On good weather days, firewood should also be constantly picked back. Tang Shichi is constantly growing up, and she can still eat two more milks at night. During the day, she can only wait for Li Shi to return home. Except for Li's milk, she couldn't eat anything else and could only go hungry. She has never wet the bed once since birth and doesn't need a diaper. With such a easy to take care of doll, Li saves a lot of trouble and doesn't need to wash diapers. Even a five-year-old girl can take care of her little daughter. A month passed in the blink of an eye, and Li gave birth to a full moon baby. Not to mention having red eggs, she did not make a full moon wine. Every time she goes out to work, she meets people from the village or neighbors. Others are kind-hearted, she doesn't want to touch cold water and comes out to work for a while. Lee could only smile bitterly when she heard someone else's words. If she didn't come out to work and get cold water, it would be like what her mother-in-law said about enjoying happiness at home. She couldn't remember how many times she had heard the word, enjoying happiness. When Lee returned from working outside and found a carriage in the yard, when did their family have such a wealthy guest? He guessed that she had her husband work as a carpenter. On the other side of the thatched cottage, there was a stranger sitting there drinking tea with Hongji and his father. Just as I was about to cook lunch, I noticed a guest sitting in the wooden furniture living room. This guest is a 50-year-old woman wearing a brocade skirt, with a golden hairpin on her head, a jade bracelet on her left hand, and silver and gold earrings on her right hand. She is drinking tea with Lai Shi in the living room. Waving for Li to enter the living room, she looked up and down at her and nodded in satisfaction, saying, Hmm, it looks good. I wonder if her milk is enough. Enough. The dolls at home don't have to eat any other food, they all grew up with her milk. Lai Shi greedily looked at the silver she was about to receive, and Li Shi went to become a wet nurse. Every month, there was monthly silver, so they didn't have to farm. Their family could buy enough food. Are you willing, the old lady asked Li Shi. What? Li lowered her head, feeling inferior in front of such a wealthy woman and not understanding her meaning. Our wealthy master is the wealthiest and most prestigious master in the county. We have a young master who is two years old. I invited a wet nurse to come here through someone else's introduction. Please pack up and follow me. There is two or two months worth of money each month for you to eat and live, and I will make you change into good clothes. Can I not go? If I go, what should my daughter do? Li Shi is not greedy for two tails of silver at all. She knows that silver will definitely not go into her pocket. She went to work as a wet nurse, and only her own daughter is pitiful. The youngest child is only one month old how can she bear it? Li Shi, you're not good at all. Two tails of silver. If you behave better there, there might be a reward. Li Shi's domineering and aggressive words were something she had become accustomed to using to manipulate her daughter. In law. There are rules there, and if done well, there will be rewards. If not done well, there will be punishments. The old lady observed carefully and knew that this daughter in law was so honest and cowardly. Such a person could still be obedient when they came to their house. Can I take my little daughter with me? 
Li knew she had no strength to resist and hoped to fight for it before that. No. When I came, the young lady instructed me, and the old lady also instructed me. You signed a living contract and can come back to visit one day a month. Other old men cannot make decisions. Wu Wu, Li shed tears as she thought of not seeing her daughters for a month. The old woman walked out to the carriage and brought in a set of lake blue skirts, handing them over to Li Shi. Li Shi stared at her daughter Dot in Dot Law's dress and was eager to grab it. Thinking of the silver she had just received, she suppressed the impulse. Li went back to her room to change clothes, picked up her daughter on the bed, and fed her before leaving. Mother, what a beautiful dress! Arya and her two younger sisters surrounded Li Shi. Well, during my absence, you should take good care of your sister. She doesn't have any milk to eat, so let her cook rice soup for her to drink. Li glanced outside and realized that Daya had not returned from her work yet, so she had not been able to personally advise her. Mother, why don't you come back? Arya never left her and couldn't understand her meaning. Li, hurry up, the old lady urged outside. Li shed tears and changed clothes. She simply tidied up two sets of clothes, wore her best shoes, and kissed each daughter's face. Mom, where are you going? Arya understood a little more at this moment, holding her little sister and chasing after her other two sisters. Seeking support, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Mother Runs Away You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Mother runs away Li Shi tearfully carried a simple luggage onto the carriage, while Diya happened to be carrying two baskets of pigweed home. When she saw her mother boarding the carriage, she felt uneasy and put down the basket, running over crying and shouting. Mother, where are you going? Li shed tears and said to Diya, my mother went to a wealthy family in the county to be a wet nurse, and Diya took good care of her sisters at home. Mom, I don't. Big Ya's thin and black little hand wanted to grab Mom. Well behaved, the Ya is the most sensible. Mom can come back one day a month. Mother. Don't leave. Sob, don't take my mother away. Arya and her sisters also ran out and shouted. Tang Shichi was held by Arya, and the wet nurse was about to run away. It is imaginable that in her future days, she could only drink water. Isn't rice soup just water? I didn't read novels like this before. How to change the plot, but not the fate. With or without a mother, there will be no milk to eat. Tang Shichi, who has never cried since she was born, thought of not being able to eat enough every day. What would happen if the wet nurse ran away? Wow, 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 stop the car. Stop the car quickly. Lee shouted loudly. The eldest daughter and other daughters cried out, but she didn't feel so sorry. The youngest daughter was born out of her life. When she was able to get out of bed and leave the door, Grandma Lee told her that besides her family, there were things that other families didn't know about. She almost died in this childbirth, and for some reason she came back to life. As Grandma Lee said, a little girl is fortunate and should be raised well. Don't pay attention to her hurry up and leave. The old woman grabbed her and instructed the coachman to leave quickly. At noon, she was very hungry and came to such a stingy house, not even allowing them to eat a meal. The coachman didn't listen to Lee's words and the carriage drove out of the main courtyard. Diya and her sisters ran out of the yard, crying and calling for their mother. Tang Shichi looked pitifully at the distant carriage. She had just eaten a full meal before, but what should she do if she didn't have another meal? I didn't expect to wear it into the book, otherwise she would have stored some food and milk in her own space to drink. A one-month-old child does not have the strength to enter the space for cultivation, and in the future, they will have no food but to drink the spring water of the space. Crying and crying, why don't you go cook quickly? Lai Shi chased after her and twisted Big Ya's ear fiercely. Grandma, I hurt. Sob, Mom, are you coming back? Grandma's bullying us again. 
Diya felt her ears buzzing with pain and pain. Woo woo, grandma put down my older sister and don't hit her. Arya and the other three sisters cried out in fear. Wow, Tang Shichi saw her ferocious grandmother for the first time in Arya's arms. This grandmother had never seen her during her one month growth, let alone taken care of her. I think the father with this body doesn't look like his mother at all. He should be like his grandfather. I wonder if those ants are like their grandmother. During this month, Tang Shichi only heard her cursing and did not see many ants or grandfathers. She cried frantically, hoping to attract a kind hearted father or neighbors around her to help her sister grow up. Mom, don't hit Jia. Girls. Hongji heard Jia scream in pain, and usually he would also hit his mother. When he heard the sound, he only glanced outside. Today, the little girl cried loudly, which made Hongji's heart tremble and he ran out to persuade him. Humph, Hongji, don't always help them. Now that your wife has gone to work as a wet nurse, these lazy people must cook and do household chores. Don't let the old lady shout before they start working. When Lai Shi thought about cooking and washing clothes in the future, there was no one to do the work in the farmland. If Jia and the others didn't do it, wouldn't she be able to do it? Mom, how old is my daughter? And they often help with household chores. Let the two sisters help with some work while they're idle. Asa retorted for the first time while Mom was speaking, looking at the skinny doll the size of doubting. Can it do the farm work they said? Picking up some firewood, pulling out pig grass to drizzle vegetables and cook, these tasks are already their limits. If they encounter dangerous objects such as snakes. Laundry, cooking, and doing farm work are tasks that even adults cannot finish. Let a few little dolls do them. This is not to make his daughters, big brother, I want to make a wedding dress, I don't have time. You can't even mess with your younger sister. All right, big brother has a wife, a child, and you have a blood relationship with your sister. The second girl became anxious, as she was getting married and didn't want to sunburn and become an ugly woman. Big brother, am I still your sister? I grew up with you since I was young, and I can't compare to your daughter. The third girl stomped her feet in the room. Since her sister dot in dot law came in, she hasn't done any work, embroidering flowers every day, chatting with the second sister. She can hide from the heat in summer and block the cold wind in winter. Her delicate hands are bound to be rough when it comes to household chores. If she wants to marry a wealthy young master, how can she go down to work? Hongji, those two are your sisters. If you help these losers, believe me or not, I'll sell them. Lai's threatening language made Hongji silent, pulling his daughter into the kitchen, and the father and daughter cooked together. Get out of here. You're a loser who only knows how to eat and doesn't know how to do anything, Lai shouted at the four little girls, Arya. Arya is afraid of her grandmother, she really fears being sold by her grandmother and her sisters. This ruthless grandmother can do anything. The dolls turned around step by step, always hoping for a miracle to happen. Her mother was just joking with them, not really leaving. What are you making so much noise about? It's not embarrassing. Hongji's father stopped his woodworking work inside and cursed. He saw villagers watching from a distance outside the yard. Their family has always had something new, it's not surprising. Others are just gossiping. Why did the carriage that came today take Lee away? What are you doing with Lee? Can't this family sell their daughter? In law? Upon hearing the cries and curses of their family, the villagers probably understood that they were pointing fingers at what had happened in the family. Hongji's father felt embarrassed in the comments of the villagers and asked Lai Shi to close the courtyard door. Humph, it's all the fault of these losers. If it weren't for them, how could they be laughed at? Lai Shi looked at the dolls wearing ill-fitting and patched clothes with mud and dirt on them. I really want to throw them out, and when I see them, I get annoyed. There's no cleaner son than her eldest daughter. Lai Shi would only dislike it. She would let such a small doll do things, 
and if the little doll couldn't lift such a heavy object, it would fall. When she went to pick up pigweed, there would be no soil sticking to her clothes. Noon cooking was cooked by Hongji, the father of cooking, and the tearful chef in charge. My daughter has been crying all along, and Hongji's mood is not good. A big man doesn't know how to say comforting words, only silently burns a fire. Big brother, have you prepared your meal yet? You're so hungry. The voice of the third girl came from outside. Have you prepared the meal yet? Why is it so slow? It's clumsy and clumsy. Lai Shi stood in the doorway and urged, feeling the heat emanating from the kitchen. Mom, can you be a little patient? Why don't you come and do it? Hongji was sweating and burning the fire, watching his daughter also shed tears and sweat, feeling heartbroken. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Entering the Tang Dynasty Mansion You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Entering the Tang Dynasty Mansion Hongji's rebuttal made Lai very angry. His son, who had always been filial, began to disobey. Hongji, how are you talking? Ah! Growing up unfilial. Oh my goodness! Lai Shi was pretending to cry while speaking. Mother, don't cry, big brother has no heart for a long time. The third girl was stirring up trouble. Hongji's face was sweating more and more in the firewood, speechless. Li Shi cried on the carriage as it left her doorstep. The woman in the carriage watched silently, and today she cried so without much sympathy. She didn't say any words of comfort to her, sitting proudly on the side, watching the scenery outside. The car left the village and soon arrived at the town. The old woman asked the driver to stop the car and asked the driver to buy six large hot meat buns from a shop on the street outside. The coachman left two for himself and handed the rest to the old lady. The old woman gave two steamed buns to the Lee family and said, Do you have any food to entertain us at your house? Fortunately, when we came out, we received a reward from the young lady. Otherwise, we would all go hungry. Is this for me? Lee dared not take it. Since getting married, she had never eaten such a big steamed bun before. Before getting married, she would exchange some money for sewing and would buy some steamed buns to try. So I thought of her poor five children again, what kind of life will they lead after she leaves? I couldn't help but shed tears in my eyes. I said, Li Shi, if I give you something to eat, you can pick it up. When you come to a wealthy family's house, you can't be so petty. If I give you something to eat, you'll cry. It's unlucky. The old lady is the person who follows the old lady's side and has always been a child from the family. Obviously, she has never experienced hardship. After working in a wealthy family for a long time, she has also learned the way of looking down on the poor and showing superiority. Thank you, Li didn't pay attention to the expression on her mother's face. She lowered her head and took the steamed buns in her hand, nibbling on them. She was hungry and kept working at home, but didn't have enough to eat. She also had to breastfeed the child, which was exhausting her body. However, this pregnancy seems to be a bit better than before, and there is no feeling of postpartum back pain or headache. Half an hour later, the carriage arrived at the high gate of a wealthy and wealthy family's blue brick mansion in the county town. Lee, who didn't read much, didn't know the words on the big plaque. Before getting off the carriage, the old woman said to her. This is Tang Mansion. You are the young master's nanny. After entering, you will talk more and do more things in the novel. You should not gossip, speak recklessly, or walk around recklessly. Your main task is to take care of the young master. Yes, said Lee, who was submissive. The common people were a bit afraid and lowered their heads to listen to the instructions. This is the gate of the Tang Mansion. We are servants and shouldn't enter through the gate. The coachman only brought you here to let you know what the main gate looks like. We will enter through the side gate later. Yes, after the mother dot in dot law finished explaining, she got off the carriage and walked in front, followed by Li Shi, 
and together they arrived at a side door. The gate is guarded, and there are also guards on the side door. The guard on the side door is a woman, and from here, the side door leads into the inner courtyard. The mother dot in dot law first took Lee to find her residence, which was a young master's yard with maids inside. The young master was on duty. That is your room. Your room is outside the young master's room. You can only sleep when the young master sleeps in the future. If the young master doesn't sleep, you can't sleep either. Yes, Lee looked at her small room, which had mosquito nets and beds. It was a small room for a servant wet nurse, much better than her wedding room at home. The bed was slightly smaller than the one at home, and it was quite spacious for sleeping alone. They gave birth to so many children and slept together on a big bed, so small that the baby and the little one slept on opposite feet, and neither of them could move. First, put your things here, and I'll take you to meet the young lady. The young master is with the young lady. After meeting her, if the young lady is satisfied with you, or if the young master likes you, you can stay, otherwise you must go back. Yes, Lee lowered her head and walked with the old lady, afraid to look around, afraid of colliding with the nobleman. Silently remembering the root in her heart, she couldn't wander around in a wealthy household. This is a story she has heard many times in the countryside. They passed through the garden and arrived at a courtyard where a woman was guarding the entrance. When they saw the woman entering with a stranger, she flattered and said, Pan Posey, congratulations, you have another good job. That's. It's because Madam and young Grandma look up to me, said Pan Posey proudly. After finishing these words, Pan Posey continued to walk in and whispered to Lee, this is Eason Garden, the courtyard of the young lady. We should have taken you to see the old lady and then the young lady. However, the old lady ordered that the young lady and the young master meet first. When the young master goes to pay his respects in the future, he will naturally see the old lady. Yes, Li didn't know the rules of the Tang dynasty and kept the words spoken by Pan Posey in her heart. Remember, our young lady is pregnant and we cannot let the young master pester her. You must be loyal to the young master and do your job well. Yes, Pan Posey took Li Shi to the door of a room guarded by a maid, and she said to the maid. Did the young lady wake up from her nap? The young master was having a good time, just fell asleep, and the young lady was lying down tired. Please report to the young lady that the wet nurse has been invited. After the maid reported, she came out again and let Mrs. Pan and Mrs. Lee in. Passing through the pearl curtain, a lotus mosquito net bed was opened, and there was a young woman with a round heart and light makeup lying on the bed. Beside her was a two-dot-year-dot-old young man sleeping under a thin blanket. Young lady, I have brought you the person. Pan Posey bowed and saluted. Lee also followed Pan Posey's movements and lowered her head for the first time, afraid to gaze at the person on the bed. The young woman, supported by the maid who came in, gently leaned against the brocade plum blossom pillow and gazed at the incoming Lee family. Her voice was delicate and small, but not majestic, as she said. Are you healthy and have enough milk? Lee bent over and dared not get up. She lowered her head and said, the little woman is healthy. She has just given birth for a month, and the children at home only eat my milk. From Lee's expression, the young lady could guess that she was talking about health. Just as she was about to say something more, the two-year-old baby who had just fallen asleep, shrugged her nose, opened her eyes, and cried, Mom, I want to breastfeed. The young lady waved to Lee and said to her two-dot-year-dot-old son, Damn it, I'll bring you a wet nurse and let her feed you. Nine young. The two-dot-year-dot-old young master sat up and climbed over his mother with short legs, intending to walk underground in order to find Lee. Come and pick up the young master, Pan Posey commanded. Yes, Lee obediently went to hug the two-dot-year-dot-old child. Damn, I want to breastfeed. This. Lee Shirk glanced awkwardly at Mrs. Pan, the young lady, and the maid beside her. Have you never heard what the young master said? We are all women, Pan Posey scolded again. Yes, Lee sat on a small stool to the side, 
holding the young master and turning his back. The young lady saw her son eating happily and stopped crying. She nodded in satisfaction and said to the Lee family, who was facing away from them, you must take good care of the young master in the future. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Young Master You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Young Masterly listened to the young lady's words and glanced at the young master she was holding. She smiled bitterly in her heart. Her doll is also crying and hungry now, isn't it? Will the baby recognize her as the biological mother after only seeing her for a month? Yes, young lady. The young master, who had eaten his fill, fell asleep in Lee's arms, feeling satisfied and asleep. Lee looked down at this white and tender little child, thinking that it would be great if it were her child. I don't know how the child is now, will they be crying for a mother, and the baby will cry from hunger. Tears flickered in my eyes, trying not to cry in front of the young lady. Pan Pazi, take the young master and wet nurse down, and come and greet her after dinner. The young lady felt sleepy, having been disturbed by her son for the past day or two and unable to sleep well. On the way back to the young master's yard, Pan Pozi nagged with Lee, who was holding him, Lee, if it weren't for the young master still causing trouble to breastfeed, his previous wet nurse would have resigned without milk, so it wouldn't be your turn to come here and enjoy the good fortune. The tears that Lee had just endured rolled in her eyes, and a drop fell. She would rather endure hardship at home, so that she could see her child every day, and would not want to leave her child to enjoy happiness. It sounds good to say that she is not a servant in life, as there is no freedom in life. What's wrong? Judging from your unhappy expression, the people who just came here to work all have this expression. After eating and living well here, I'm afraid you don't like going back to your poor home. Today, when I pick you up, I see that the people in your family may not be good. Pan Posey, I miss my child. Li Shur looked up for the first time at the magnificent garden, which was covered with pavilions, fish ponds, and lush flowers. If she hadn't come here to work, she would never have dreamed of living in such a place. I advise you, this is already the case. Take care of the young master well, and if you can get a reward, you can buy delicious food for the children when you go back to visit. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Pan. It's easy to say, now we're all working as servants around the young lady. Maybe one day I'll need you to take care of me. Pan Posey looked at the Honestly family a few more times. Such a character is more suitable for being a wet nurse. Her attitude is not as arrogant as before, as she said now. In the future, she may need someone else to take care of her. Who knows about the rotation of Feng Shui? Li placed the young master on his small bed, covered it with a thin blanket, and sat silently on the side. She has never been so idle at home, let alone taking a nap. At this moment, what she thinks of in her heart is the doll at home, silently shedding tears. The young master's room has a doll bed, children's toys, and even some small books with pictures. Lee is illiterate, but reading the pictures in those novels also shows that this is a book for children's enlightenment. At this moment, Lee thought of her daughter at home again. She had tasted the pain of not being able to read. If her daughter could also read and understand numbers, would her child's life be better than hers? Lee secretly decided in his heart that if he had money, he would inquire where to buy books that could enlighten the children. Nine Young After sleeping for an hour, the young master woke up, rubbed his loose eyes, and got up to see Lee Sher. He felt very friendly and wanted her to hug him. Is the young master hungry or thirsty? I want to drink water, and I want to eat dim sum. The little boy is two years old and has only a little milk addiction. He ate once before, and now he wants to eat the staple food. Leisure beckoned other servant girls in the yard to bring hot dim sum and warm water. Here she has another privilege, except for the young master, she has the highest authority and can command other servants to perform their duties. Lee gently fed the young master the food and water brought by the maid. She made a discovery that the young master was very well behaved and intelligent. 
In the evening, Mrs. Pan came again to convey the message of the young lady, asking Lee to take the young master to Eason Garden. The young lady saw her son becoming obedient and lively, gently looking at him and playing with him with the Lee family. Lee stood on the side with her head lowered, always obedient, and at that moment she heard the voice of a man. Huh, my son finally stopped making trouble. Madam, what are you two playing with? A man entered the room, and Lee could guess that he must be a young master. His head was lowered and his eyes were fixed on his toes. My husband is back, come on, serve the dishes. The young lady smiled gently, showing her affection and affection towards her husband. Quickly, there were dishes placed on the table by the maid, and the young master had specially prepared complimentary food for him. Lee stood aside and fed him food. The young master ate the food and even asked the maid to pour him wine. He secretly observed Lee, the new wet nurse, and felt that he was honest and timid, with a gentle attitude towards his son. His attitude didn't seem to be pretentious, and he felt satisfied with it. After the evening, Lee carried the young master back to the yard. She had listened to Pan Posey's instructions and gently coaxed the young master to sleep. When he fell asleep, she returned to her own room. When she returned to her own room to sleep, she was also very alert and woke up every two hours to watch. The next morning, after feeding the young master and finishing his milk, Mrs. Pan came over again and took the young master with her, Lee, to greet the eldest lady. Lee followed Mrs. Pan to a large courtyard and entered a luxurious living room. At the top of the living room sat an old man and a lady. The wealthy old man saw the grandson held in Lee's hand and waved to the doll, saying, Little grandson, come over to grandpa's place. Grandparents. Ah, the eldest lady and the old master responded with a smile. The old man sat together holding his little grandson. The eldest lady looked at the obediently family standing in front of her, with her head lowered. He already had an insider to say that Lee had adapted to the environment here in a day and even took care of her grandson. Lee, in the future, you should be more attentive to taking care of my grandson, you know. Yes, madam, Lee bowed and saluted with a look of sincere fear. It was said that wealthy people are all fierce, especially afraid of scolding and beating. Jinhua, give Lee a reward. Yes, Jinhua made gave Lee a small purse. I, I can't take it. Li shook her hands honestly and gave her a reward after only taking care of her child for a day. She didn't dare to take this money, feeling burned with it. The people in the living room were all looking at Li Shu and had any thoughts. Some people laughed in their hearts that he was foolish, even if he didn't want any money. As the owner, I really like people like this kind of person. They are not greedy people and have their merits. Take what Madam rewarded you with, and take care of the young master better in the future. Pan Posey advised Li Shu in a timely manner. Um. Li turned to look at Pan Posey and saw her nodding at her. She then shook her hand and took the money bag, feeling that the money in the bag was not copper coins, but broken silver. She put away her wallet and knelt down to thank her. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 being informed. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Being informed from then on, Lee worked as a maid in the Tang Mansion and settled down. Every day, she missed her child and pinned her emotions on the young master. The young master is very clingy to the Lee family, which makes the young grandmother and the mother a bit jealous. If it weren't for the inconvenience of taking care of a child, I really don't want my son and wet nurse to be closer. The clothes brought by Lee cannot be worn. Mrs. Pan sent items, including a set of clothes for washing, cotton underwear, underwear, and needlework for making needlework. She knew that five of her children had given some broken materials and fabrics, which were said to be a reward from the lady. Lee happily accepted it, knowing that her dolls had their clothes patched up again and again. She was eight years old and was wearing clothes that her sister Dot in Dot Law had worn when she was a child. The dolls have always been in cold weather, not only without socks, but also without shoes. Fortunately, 
she skillfully knitted grass shoes for the children, and the things that the second lady gave her happened to allow her to pass the time by sewing while the young master was taking a nap, and also to rely on all her ideas in the items. The wet nurse young master woke up from a nap, got up on the bed, sat on Lee's side, and looked at the small shoes she was making. He looked at his own feet and then at those small shoes, feeling that they were not suitable for him to wear. Young master, are you awake? Are you hungry? Do you want to pay tribute? When Li Shi first arrived at the mansion, she said to the doll at home, Poop and Pee. Later, the maid reminded her that this Poop and Pee is not elegant and she wanted to say, Pay tribute to the young master. The two dot year dot old young master has been taught very well and understands some daily language. He doesn't know how to defecate or pee in bed. Li carried the young master into the thatched pit in the room then came out again and sat down in the room. Young master, do you drink water? I want to eat milk. The young master took the initiative to climb onto Lee's body. Good Lee has not regarded work as her job these days. She can transfer her love for her child to the young master by his side, without crying day and night, only remembering in her heart. After the young master had eaten his fill, he glanced at the small shoes Lee had placed by the bed and placed the unfinished shoes on his own feet. Young master, be careful, there's a needle. Ah! As soon as Lee finished speaking, the young master's little hand was pricked with a needle. Does it hurt? Lee checked the young master's hand and found a small pinhole, but there was no bleeding. The child's blood volume was relatively low, and the small pinhole was not injured. Damn, I'm not in pain anymore. Well, buy two things and put them away to avoid hurting you again. Damn, the shoes are so small. Did you make a mistake? They don't fit me well. Young master, I heard them say that your clothes and shoes are made by the embroidery lady at home. If the wet nurse's craftsmanship is not good, the young lady may not be interested. Is that for my mother's unborn younger brother? No, it's something for the young lady. Someone can help make it. This is what the eldest lady rewards to the wet nurse, making shoes and clothes for the wet nurse's doll. Does the nine young family also have a younger brother? No, there are three sisters and two younger sisters in the nanny family, and the youngest is only over a month old. Oh, it's not my younger brother, so I can't play with her. Is it fun for my little sister to cry? Young master, the sisters and sisters of the wet nurse family don't like to cry, Lee said with a gentle smile. That must be a very cute sister and sister. I'm going to see my sister. Young master, the nine young family is far away. I heard it takes a month to go back. Then I'll go back with the wet nurse to visit my sister and sister, or else bring them here to play with me. Cannot. Why can't wet nurses? Do I want them? Young master, be obedient. Do you know that there should be less to do here? Grandma and madam agree, but neither you nor I can be the masters. Oh, the young master seemed to understand rather than understand. As they were speaking, a maid outside the door and another maid exchanged a glance, and she turned around and walked out. The people in the yard are all the confidants of the young lady. If you see any situation inside, go to the young lady's place to report it. What? Lee's doing private work, did the needle hurt the young master? Yes, upon hearing their words, we approached and saw that the young master's hand was not bleeding. Humph, that's a heinous crime. If you dare to harm my baby, you will be punished. Lee sure is really brave. She dares to do private work in the room. Her wife gave her so many things and even gave her a reward. She not only saw that she was too poor, but also a nanny who was a young master. She was very kind. Li Shi really doesn't know what to do. A new wet nurse, who had just come to work and received so many rewards, was so favored that everyone in the house spread the word. For someone like Li who had no foundation, jealousy led to some people wanting to take her away and arrange their own people. Call Lee and I will personally interrogate her. 
The young lady was originally a kind person, and the young master was her baby. Plus, feeling that her little baby depended on Lee made her feel uncomfortable in the heart of being a mother. Maid Fu withdrew and went to the young master's yard. She exchanged a glance with another maid and walked into the young master's room. Lee and the young master read comic books and tell stories through pictures, which is something that even illiterate people like her can understand. Hee hee, the young master smiled happily. Lee's face showed a gentle smile, and at that moment she was happy. The maid felt a little unhappy when she saw Lee's happy expression, and even thought to herself, how happy you are laughing now, how sad you will be later. She doesn't guarantee that the young lady will let people beat the Lee family. Lee, the young lady asked you to go and greet her. Okay, Lee was about to pick up the young master and go to greet him. Lee, the young lady said as long as you go. Lee gently let the young master down again, but the young master wanted to pester Lee and hold on to the corner of her clothes to prevent her from leaving. The wet nurse hugged. Young master, Lee will come back soon. The servant will come to pick up the little princess. Another maid standing at the door took the initiative to pick up the young master. No, no, I'm going, the young master struggled. Be good, young master. The wet nurse will come back soon. Lee comforted the young master, and in the young master's reluctant gaze, it seemed like he was parting in life and death. How could such words come to her mind? The other maid pouted and walked ahead, muttering in her heart that the young lady's punishment might peel off a layer of skin, or she might be driven out of the mansion. Whether she could come back is one thing. Lee followed the maid to the living room of the young lady's yard. After the maid who came with her bowed to the young lady, she stood aside to watch the play. Lee sure was afraid of Wei Noah's bow and salute. Even foolish, she could feel that the atmosphere in the living room was not right. The young lady in the main seat was very serious. She lowered her head and didn't know what she had done wrong. She exclaimed with fear. Young lady, Lee is here to greet you. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Our family is poor. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10. Our family is poor. The young lady looked at Lee with a serious gaze, scraping her like a knife and saying, Lee, you know your guilt. Lee knelt down in horror towards the young lady, her body trembling a bit. She was just a small person facing the wealthy lady, with a sense of inferiority and timidity. Grandma, Lee doesn't understand what crime Grandma is talking about. Faced with Lee's foolish and confused appearance, the young lady became even more angry and said, Lee, don't think you're doing anything in the young master's room. I don't know what the young lady is doing, but you dare to do private work there and even prick the young master with a needle. What should you be guilty of? Young lady, I misunderstood. Lee knew she was under someone's roof, so she had to bow her head. Collecting money was inherently inferior, and her identity as a servant and a poor person could not afford to offend the wives of wealthy families. The young lady used to be very angry and wanted people to hit the Lee family, but she also felt that she needed to use the Lee family. Besides, she has a child in her stomach now and cannot hit people indiscriminately. Humph, since it's your first time committing a crime, I'll give you a warning. If you do it again, we'll take care of you. Yes, young lady, Lee will not dare any more. Lee knelt on the ground and kowtowed. Get up. You can't make the same mistake when you serve dim sum to the young master. After saying this, the young lady waved to Lee Sure and the servant girl. Yes, Lee's heart trembled as she stood up from the ground and walked softly, one high and one low. She had heard of the strict rules of wealthy families before and had personally experienced them which made her sweat all over. Lee Sure, you're really lucky. The young lady didn't punish you. The maid looked down at Lee Sure as she walked. Yes, the young lady is compassionate. Lee Sure knew that it might be this person who accused her of blackness, but she did not dare to have any opinion about this person. People in the family were loyal to the master and became their eyeliner. Especially people around such a small master, the master would pay more attention. Humph, 
The servant girl pouted, but dared not offend Li Shi too harshly. If she were to seek revenge against her once her waist stiffened, it would not be worth the loss. From this day on, Li no longer dared to do private work in front of the young master's bed. He would only make shoes, clothes, handkerchiefs, and socks for the dolls under the oil lamp at night after the young master fell asleep. Li went to a wealthy family to work as a wet nurse, and her previous work was burdened by Dia, Arya, and Sanya. The eldest children were eight years old, and the youngest was over three years old. She was trying to do adult work, especially Dia, who went up the mountain to cut grass and pick it up before her mother went to work. The eight-year-old child has limited strength, so she carries two bundles of grass weighing over thirty pounds, walking and resting. The other two sisters picked up firewood and walked with her in their arms, taking breaks. The weather is getting hotter and hotter, and the children's clothes are sweaty and wet. Sometimes, even when they fall, they bite their teeth and get up to continue working. Dia, so hard-working. Do you want my brother to help you? Dog Egg and a group of bear kids also went to pick firewood, climb trees, and pick bird nests, playing happily. Humph, the bad guy who hit my mother, ignore you. Dia still remembers the time when they threw stones at the dog eggs. Huh, quite vengeful. Seeing your pretty appearance, I want to help you. If you call me, brother, I will help you. Dog Egg's messy face and clothes, seeing Dia's sweaty clothes with a clean and pretty face, reminded him of their playful dolls, learning the fluid and seductive expressions in the drama. Go away, go away, it's so dirty. Dia waved her hand in disgust at Dog Egg, who is one year older than her, mischievous, and has such a runny nose. With such a dirty appearance, she couldn't even compare to her newborn sister. Humph, my mother said, even if she wants to marry you when she grows up, she shouldn't marry you. She can't give birth to girls or boys like your mother. After saying these words, Gooden thought she was cool and walked away with that string of boys. Ha ha ha, the mocking voices of the boys were incessant in their ears. The Yit jumped in place, angrily picking up firewood and bringing her two younger sisters home. These lazy people, after doing such a little work, will this firewood be enough for our family to use for a day? If it rains, will you want us to cut off the firewood? Lai's triangular eyes were angry, and Li used to wash the clothes of the whole family very clean. Since Li went to the county town, when Lai woke up in the morning, she knocked on the door and asked Dewey to do laundry and cook. Dewey's slow motion can cook breakfast, but she can't wash clothes. The clothes she washed have already risen to the sky in the sun, and she can't do any other work. Lai could only let her two daughters take on the laundry work. She took on the responsibility of cooking, cutting the fields outside, and picking up pigs and vegetables, leaving it to Daya and her two younger sisters. Lai cooked three meals and worked in such a hot place in the kitchen, feeling both hot and tired. Now she can no longer go to her eldest daughter's place to take care of the child, and has been blamed by her eldest daughter. The two little children at home, Lai sure was too lazy to go see them and ignored them. Under helplessness, Acer could only let two little children enter the room every one or two hours to take a look. I am very pleased that both little daughters are very sensible and don't cry or make a fuss. Tang Shichi had already anticipated that after her mother left, she would have no milk to eat and could only drink water. Sure enough, it was rice soup for three meals a day. With just one infusion of such thin water, she couldn't even urinate, making her hungry and careful not to hurt her liver. He could only secretly drink from the spiritual spring in the space when his little sister fell asleep without anyone noticing. My little body, which has been around for over a month, cannot enter the space yet. I can only use my mind to draw out the spring water. I wanted to help the other three sisters before, and also gave them some spiritual spring water to nourish their weak and tired bodies. Unfortunately, she cannot climb, move, or give them the spring water of the space to drink. Hongji lay in bed at night, with five dolls by his side. Now that he is both a father and a mother, he realizes the difficulties of his wife. Ah, 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 
Ah, sometimes when I sleep until midnight, the youngest doll is barking. He wants to get out of bed and says half asleep, wife, the doll is awake. Only a few other dolls who were sleeping soundly responded to him, and Hongji realized that his daughter dot in dot law was not at home amidst the louder cries of his daughter. Tang Shichi didn't want to scream in the middle of the night and wanted her father and sisters to have a good sleep. Helpless, the body cannot be controlled, and it is easy for a stomach that has only eaten rice soup to feel hungry, and it is also easy to have a feeling of urination. My small body and mature soul really don't want to pee in bed. She can resist hunger, but she cannot resist physiological reactions. Oh, 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 Hongji learned how to look like his wife, comforted his little daughter, and picked her up, ah. The little girl has wronged you. Our family is poor and we don't have any other milk for you to drink. Hongji muttered to himself, feeling remorseful, not believing that the little girl could understand. Tang Shichi endured her hunger, closed her eyes, pretended to sleep, and couldn't bear to look at this father, becoming more and more like a mother. End of this chapter